Anyway, but back to this guy. Um, I wanted to do a video, like I had to stop building to do the video because once again, this is a very expensive printer. We are starting with glass. Um, I would like to see printer manufacturers start sending both a glass plate and glass with a PEI sheet. Let your makers make the decision of how they like to print. Don't make me come back and buy another piece. If you send me all the things that I need to be successful right off the bat, I will end up buying more from you. Oh, welcome to the home of the Anycubic Cobra Max. Uh, currently, yes, it is on the floor. Um, it wobbled too much on the table and the power cord didn't reach, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to probably get another UPS. Um, and I have been searching for a table for this to go on. I measured the feet from foot to foot, 20 inches in the front. And then from the front to the back, it's 21 inches. And this, that's from these little feces right here, not the frame. Um, Cause I wanted to make sure that I was getting a table that would match. So most desk tables are 24 inches deep. Now, I was looking originally for a 30 inch table, a 30 by 30, but knowing that it's 21 inches deep, now I can go with a normal size, like night and desk, as long as it is sturdy. Um, and it should work. So right now it's just doing the probing. I've got some filament ready. Once it's done with the probing, Overall, it was actually really easy to put together. There's four screws, like some of the other ones that are pre-built like this, um, where you've got your frame, your base, and then you've got your frame. So there's two screws on that side, two screws on that side, and then it's the uh, Z-Rod supports that you screw in, and then um, all your cable management, which I actually really like. Uh, Cobra Anycubic did a really good job with that. You can't see it. Those little clips right there, I really like that. That keeps the cables out of the way. They also sent these little twist tie clips. Um, that's really nice. They tell you how to install it and the length so that your cords don't hit anything. Um, overall, I am, other than the glass bed, I am impressed with the initial unboxing and setup of the Anycubic Cobra Max. I've yet to print with it. I've yet to even load filament in it. So I don't know how easy that is. I'm not the biggest fan of Bowden tube style printers, but I am, I mean, if it prints and does as well as I think it should, we will be good. Um, stay tuned for hopefully the first print I can get I don't know, maybe a Benchy or whatever comes on the card. We'll see other initial thoughts. So the screen is actually, I haven't pulled this off yet. Ooh, peels. Um, the screen is really easy to navigate. It makes sense. Filament was easy to load. Right now I'm just waiting for it to take its time to load everything. Um, the instructions are Pretty basic. Um, definitely check to see if there's any videos out there. Um, the micro USB is probably a very cheap one. So, here we go. And now we're gonna hit stop. It's still going. There we go. Time to stop. Still sitting on the ground here. Tools. Overall, not bad. You can tell they definitely printed with it before. You're big and smooge. Ooh, and we're burning. See, that alone right there makes me not want to leave this printing. Stop again. 
think that temperature is too high. So it's tools temp. Let's turn down the extruder temp and see if it gets So part of the instructions are just for hitting like literally just doing the auto bed level. It doesn't tell you to do the Z offset, like nothing else. Um, just that, you know, if your filament is too thin to reduce the extrusion force, if it's too thick or not smooth, then to increase it. So we're gonna try printing while I'm here a quick model and see what happens. So first off, compared to the Soval where there's a gap all the way around, that really sucks because I've lost plenty of micro disties where I've had to then go unscrew everything to pull it apart. Let's see what we have. Print. And an owl. Extruder temp is way too low. Settings, we're gonna change that. I know this filament likes to print at about 215. That might be different for every single printer. So far, nothing. Oh, there we go. Starting to stay on the bed. So far, so good. We'll come back once it's done printing.